In Plaquemines Parish are worried about a saltwater wedge making its way up the Mississippi River, hoping they don't have a repeat of last year. As Andres Fuentes reports, parish officials say they're prepared. Plaquemines Parish officials say the saltwater intrusion is moving quickly upriver, now just outside of Port Sulphur, making neighbors reflect on this time last year when the salt water from the Gulf of Mexico mixed in with their fresh water. It curls the pipes in your house. It curls the uh, washing machines, the hot water heaters. People had to buy water out of stores and they had a water shortage. But parish leaders say the intrusion this year is vastly different from last year. Port Sulphur, East Point, Lahash, and Boopville all have their RO units in place. Councilman Mitch Jersich says that the water treatment plants in the area should have their reverse osmosis units working and ready, which would keep safe drinking water flowing through the tap. We're here. We're good. Hopefully we don't have to provide drinking water to the citizens. I think we may, may be right ahead of this thing. But Jersich says that the parish's water system is still fragile. Any issues with equipment could be catastrophic for the people in lower Plaquemines, especially with large plants and construction projects up the highway, taking in 1.2 million gallons of fresh water a day. Venture Global and the cement plant are taking anything extra that comes out of that Alliance booster station. So we're not getting any water from up Bell Chase Way. Neighbors hope if the time comes this year, the plants will share some of their fresh water like they did last year. If it's like cutting off the water supply or something like that, if it's doing something to the water, they probably shouldn't. They're trying to bring jobs and commerce and all to Plaquemines Parish, but at what cost? It's, it's hard to live down here now these days. Now, one week from tomorrow, the Army Corps of Engineers will start their work on an underwater sill to prevent that salt water from going upstream. Now, this is the third year in a row that the Corps has had to do a project like that. Local officials say that they have spoken with state and federal leaders about proactive solutions to saltwater intrusions, but there has been little progress on that front so far.